Greetings fellow rangers, Blaze Ranger here and welcome to episode 20 of our C-Block series and this will probably be the last episode in this series because we only have one task left to do and that is rebuild Atlantis and we are going to rebuild Atlantis in here. I have um, totally cleared out the ocean monument and it took a long time. We still have all these lanterns, sea lanterns, to take out. But right now they're providing light, so right now I'm going to leave them. This has been our way in and out of here. And I still have to make the other ender chest. End chest? Ender chest? Whatever it's called. Because I've got a whole bunch of stuff left uh, back at the, the ship. I've got the other chest. I've made one already, and it's in the captain's cabin. But what I'm going to do is, first we're going to chop down all these trees. So anybody that tells you you can't grow trees in a monument, well, they're wrong, because you can. Takes a while, but you can do it. And so I've got a bunch of trees, because I need some wood. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in this area yet, because I may build in a guardian farm at some point. I'm not quite sure yet, but we're going to take away all this flooring and put in... Uh, dirt and we will convert that dirt to grass because we do have our iron pickaxe that has silk touch so we've got a bunch of grass blocks so we don't need billions of them we just need enough to kind of start and as they grow we can spread them around ourselves um, and I have been doing some work have a look at this this area here is our garden plot we're gonna have carrots and wheat and potato potatoes and pumpkins. Too bad we can't get melons. And I've changed the lighting in here a bit. The only problem is when I break one of these... Oh, I've got silk touch! <laughs> I was just gonna say, well, when I break those, I don't get both parts to making a sea lantern. Man, this silk touch is coming in handy. I'm glad I have it. But we're gonna take all the lighting out. We're gonna replace the entire floor with either grass or we'll build houses on it. But I think the thing I want to do first is remove everything, figure out where I'm going to build the, f the plants, or the plants, Ugh. We'll figure out where we are going to put all the houses. And we're going to have one main house over in this area here, and along the sides we'll have smaller houses. And maybe a fountain and park right in here in the middle. We'll make a nice entrance here. Because what I'd like to do at some point, well, if, okay, if I was carrying on this series, what I would do is I would build a rail system that, that uh, connects, like I would get rid of this. I don't want this here. I want this to be the main way in and out. But we will be, would build a rail system from our main farm over to here. But we're not going to do that because, like I say, this will be the last episode. I just... As much as I'd love to keep playing this, I'm ready to move on to other things. Yeah, there's a lot of potential here. Yeah, and I think, well, like I say, we're more appropriate than for Atlantis than in an ocean monument. Because don't forget, Atlantis wasn't originally an underwater city. It was above ground, so there's no reason for us to build it in the water. And we're not going to. So let me plot out, let me clear out a little bit more, maybe get these lights situated a little better, get rid of all the trees, we'll totally clear it out, and then we'll start laying out where the buildings are going to go. So just stay tuned, give me a few seconds, well a few seconds your time, probably a couple hours my time, and we'll be back. Okay, we're moving along here quite nicely. Let's see, as you can see over there, the crops are doing well. They're mostly filled in. I still have a bunch of wheat to do. Uh, behind me over there is a bunch of houses. Ah, this is a terrible view. That's a horrible one too. Okay, so over here we've got three houses, different shapes. Over here we have the main town hall. It's actually sh in the same shape as the base of the pyra pyramid of the ocean monument. Uh, down there we are going to have, that's a long skinny one, we're going to have a rail system in there that'll go underground and it will match up or meet up with our main base. Uh, we've got another house over here. Here is storage and in that area there is going to be the workshop. That's going to be where we have the grindstone and the, and the stone cutter and the 
furnaces, blast furnaces, uh, what else is there? The smoker, just all the different work crafty type things. So I've been doing a little work in there. I've taken the main boxes that were here and our chests, moved them over there. Let's just go down real quick. I don't want to waste a lot of time here. But yeah, that's what this area is going to be. I'm not sure about that area yet. I've just moved a little bit of stuff in here. I've got some stuff in these boxes. Boxes. Why do we keep calling that? Chests. Um, not all of them are full yet. And I'm not sure how I'm going to sort them. But, oh, that should, those should move. Then I've got one here full of mishmash stuff. A lot of that stuff has to move over here. But yeah, so that's how it's going so far. Just wanted to give you a quick update. And I think next I'm going to put in uh, doors, paths, and uh, maybe the floors of all these. I'm going to use wood. I might go get some birch and use that for some of the flooring just to give it a bit of variety. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do next. So just hang on and I'll check right back in with you. So here's another update. We have done the doors and floors everything we've got a oops be careful there we've got a whole bunch of thing in here we got the fletcher's table we have a smoker cauldron a stone cutter grindstone we have a furnace in here it's actually just two campfires and we've got all our chests i've moved my ender chest over here all the buildings have floors and door. Oh, this one doesn't because I'm going to take it out and we have to put in the rail system. That's the only one that doesn't. These all have oak floors. This has a birch floor. And if I was to dig down, is it here or over there? One of these two, there's a cavern under this. So occasionally you might hear spiders or something. But yeah, these are, like I say, the doors and floors are done. Next we'll work on... Oh, did that just grow? Probably... Yeah, I've been getting, trying to get more wood because it takes up a whole lot of wood. So I'm going to do some more work and just give me a few seconds and we'll check right back. Well, as you can th see, things are taking shape quite nicely. I've got the doors and floors and walls and roof all on this side done. I still have windows to put in. We don't have a lot of glass, so I've been putting in fence uh, parts to make up for it. I've still got a bunch of those. I should have, I got stuff in the chest, but I should have enough. Oops, I've got to do, I'm not gonna put a roof on this one. This is our work area. This one I'm gonna put, um, it's gonna be a secured area because it's all our storage stuff so I'm going to put chain link around it and I'm going to knock down the top section of that and put not chain link iron bars I'm going to put iron bars up there as well I'm not going to put iron bars up in this area it'd be nice to vent that out but I know as soon as I do that water would come pouring in we've got a lot of our things here our workbench area our working area this is going to be another house and over here I have been um, setting up for the what do you call it the rail system it actually does meet up and maybe I'll show you that when we head back I've still got to put in a lot of dirt so it means I have to go do a little more mining for dirt I think I've well, I've got this but I've also got some I've been putting that in the front but I've also got some dirt in one of the chests so we will need a little more and we're still growing trees a bit over there. So I'm going to finish off in here and then we'll head back to the main area. And that should about finish off the series. So I've got a little, like I say, I've got a little bit of work to do. I have to make some more iron bars. Yeah, I found this stuff as I was digging our path back. So I'm going to do this work and I'll meet up with you. So just hang on for just another more minute. Well, we've got one thing left to do, I think, before we can consider this series complete. This is how it looks now. We've Okay, here's a pro tip. If you're going to do grass, make sure you put it in first. Because just before I started all these houses over here, I thought, I better put in all the grass so that by the time I was done those, I 
well, I did have to pick up extra couple grass blocks and move them around. Oh, there's, oh, there, that one just changed. I was just going to say, there's still a few left that haven't changed, but that one just changed. That was amazing. But what I want to do, yeah, see, there's still just a couple in the far reaches that, yeah, I'm just going to let them go on their own. But what I want to do, I've been doing a little bit of uh, gardening over here. I've been picking up wheat. As you can see, it's all been cut down and replanted because I had to make some <gasps> bone meal because I don't want to leave it just like that. I want to, I don't have a lot, but I am going to, how much have it left? 11. Just enough to kind of give it a nice, whoops, give it a nice little look. Mind you, I'm not really wild about the tall grass. Yeah. But... We'll just throw this down before we leave. How many have we got left? Five. Oh, I've got a lot left. Uh, yeah, and I'm still not sure what I'm going to do over there. Um, I don't really want this. Yeah, I don't want this right here. But back there was fine like against the house. Yeah, I don't like these tall ones. They make it look just a little too messy. I like the short ones. I should have left this, section, this middle section kind of empty. And I've got some <sighs> sea lanterns down there just to brighten it up. I don't have any furniture in any of the houses. Oh, this one's missing windows at the front. Do I have enough left? One. I'm not going to go make some more, but yeah, everything's done. This is our Atlantis. So welcome to Atlantis. This would be the main hall. I've got a lot of lanterns. I've got a lot of iron left over still. I think I got another couple um, blocks of iron in there. And man, with a block of iron, you can do a lot. But what we are going to do is head back to our other base, the main base, so we can finish off this series. This is the only room I haven't finished. I've got everything that I collected from the mineshaft a bunch of episodes back. I've left a bunch of iron sticks, some gold ingots and the cart because this is going to be our mine cart system. You go all the way down here. Let me just fast forward through this. And look where you come out. Right underneath. We can just pop up here. Head up here. I'm going to put some windows or something in here so that I can see our statue from above ground. Oh, come on. So we will have a minecart system or if I was to stay in this world. Oh, it's daytime too. What a bonus. I didn't even check. Oh, it's going to say where's... Percy. We've been away so long these trees. We kept coming back here to get trees because it was faster than waiting for them to grow under there. Oh! We have to do one thing. We have to go up here. All the way to the top. Our last two challenges. Build an underwater statue. Boom. Done. And build Atlantis. So let's just go up here. Have a look at all we've done. There's our statue. We've got Atlantis over there. We've got a thriving farm. We've got chickens. No cows, sheep, or pigs. We did see the trader once. I'm sure he came by a few times. We have a beautiful ship over there. I really like that ship. I never, I've never built anything quite that nice. I mean, I started the very bottom layer, even the very bottom layer was an adaption or adapted from plans I saw. And then once I started changing it, I just went crazy. So that is almost it for the end of the series. Let's just go on the ship and sleep really quick. Oh, should put something on that. And when we wake up in the morning, we'll be able to finish this series off. Whoop! 
What was that? Oh, okay. I guess it's not quite nighttime yet. Well, good morning, everybody. As you can see, you may have noticed we have changed our resource pack. This is still loading up, so it's going to take a minute. This is the John Smith Legacy Pack. I just wanted to see what it looks like. Oh, those sails look good. I mean, we're building kind of a medieval town here, so I just wanted to... Oh, look at that sun. It's even round. Oh, nice. Ooh, what's the item golem look like? Just thought I'd end the series with a bit of a interesting note. Oh, that's interesting. That's what a gravel block looks like. Oh, wow. That is... I haven't seen the John Smith Legacy pack for a long time. That looks pretty darn cool, I say. Percy, you've changed. Oh, this looks pretty slick. It's our sign. Nice. I like the lanterns. They still look good. Let's see how this stuff looks. Whoops. Yeah, I can't use gravel as much. Or dirt. I don't think that's dirt. That's probably andesite. That other texture. Pumpkins look good. Those don't look any different. Nice. Okay, we're just going to whip over... Oh, let's see what our... He looks cool. Okay, we're just going to whip over there really quickly. Have a look, and then we'll finish this off. Actually, let's just go this way. Yes. Nice. Okay. I must say, it looks pretty darn nice. In the bottom yet? Oh! Hmm, that's interesting. Where's my car? Whoa. It could be. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll take care. Where's my sword? Oh, what does it look like? Diamond axe? That should be... Where's my sword? I'll probably put it in one of the chests. Oh, well. Don't need to worry about him. I'll take care of him in a minute. <sighs> hey, buddy, I'm trying to do an introduction here. Or a closing. Where's one more to do it? If I could just hit him, come on, you're wasting time. Okay, he's gone. Oh, fish. Yes, very impressive. Eh, not so much. Okay, so, ooh, I even look good. So that's going to be it for this series. This is C Block. This is 20 episodes. We are, on, we are on day 285. A lot of those were spent fishing, unfortunately. This is cool. But uh, that's going to be it. We've done all the challenges. We only died seven times, I believe, and most of those were in the first couple episodes. We did really good after that once we got established. So I really enjoyed this series. It was a lot of fun. I really like limited resources. So what can I say? I really enjoyed this, this series, and I'm glad you were able to make it through to the very end with me. And as always, thanks for tagging along. I like this.